Welcome to the NRL previews for round nine of the 2024 season. I'm Renee Garten and I'm joined by Josh Mansell to unpack all the games this weekend. This is the final game yeah. of the round and it sees the Sharks and Dragons go head to head in a local derby. All the it's a good way to wrap up. I can't wait. Yeah. It's going to be a big game. Obviously, if Sharks flying high, Dragons need to make up for last week. All right, well, let's tap into the Sharks first. Confidence is definitely high after a huge result against the Raiders last week, keeping them scoreless. Mm -hmm. uh, no changes to the side who have been lifting every single round. They haven't missed a beat. Uh, Daniel Atkinson slotted so well in. I know we only touched him a little bit last week, but he's been really impressive. Yeah, very impressive. I played with him actually last year, um, mainly in reserve grade, and uh, he's uh, energizer bunny. He's probably the best word to describe <laughs> him. Um, and he definitely plays with his heart on his sleeve. So um, he's based from the Melbourne Storm system as well. So he's got that hard work ethic engraved in him. And yeah, he's, uh, he's a massive inclusion. It just shows how much depth that the Cronulla Sharks have. Is that why he's slotted so easily in with Nico? I feel like too, I feel like they complement each other quite well. Like Nico definitely has adopted to steer the ship and be the main guy there. And you know, Akko just play his role. You know, run the game. Bought, like but his strength is his running game. So yeah. we definitely show uh, he definitely showed that last week. And I feel like he's just going to keep on blossoming the more games he gets under his belt. All right. Well, let's go over to the Dragons, and it's the Flanagan's father and son combo uh. who have already minced words with their former clubs. Using it as a bit of a motivator uh, to see the Dragons lift the form that we saw so early on in the season. Yep. Are those kind of conversations when you come up against an old club big enough uh, to sort of really kick you into the next gear? He's definitely lifted this week, 100%. <laughs> you know, um, as a coach, player, um, coming up against your old club, there's always that added motivation. So uh, not only that, they're coming off a pretty disappointing loss last week. So I'm sure they've all gone back to the drawing board and you know want to put in a pretty solid performance against the Sharks, particularly in the Shire Derby. So this game is always full of fireworks. Um, you know, there's a lot of motivation for the Dragons to kind of upset the the Cronulla Sharks, um, but it won't be easy. When you had a look at that lineup um, of the side, what did you make of it? Uh, are you enjoying seeing Zach Lomax back into that centre role? Well, that's what he predominantly wanted, and that was the main, uh, you know, denominator for him to leave um, the Dragons. So um, he's got this opportunity now. Um, for me, he's been the standout winger um, in the whole competition. So why move? But. Um, you know, he loves playing centre, um, you know, can't hold grudges against him for that and um, saying that he's still a quality centre. So uh, with Moses Sully out as well, I feel like he needs, to, he's got no choice. Uh, Flanagan has to put him there. Um, and I feel like last week with Sol uh, Sully going down in that first tackle of the game definitely disrupted him. So um, hopefully no hiccups in the start of the game for, uh, for the Dragons. All right, so now they're starting fresh start, no hiccups at the start, fingers crossed. Where do you see this game being won and by who? Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a huge battle in my eyes. Um, it's definitely going to be a grinding affair. Um, both sides got the capability of scoring a lot of points, but uh, I'm going to go the Sharkies uh, at a Shark Park. Okay. <laughs> Too good. Thank you very much, Josh, for another great week Thank on you. the tipping. Um, tickets for this one are selling out fast. It is the local derby, so if you do want to see this match live, head to nrl.com slash tickets. And if you can't get to the game, you can watch it on Channel 9, Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 4.05pm.